Hi, this is Gully Gopar. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about how to heal from the coronavirus naturally. As the cases of the coronavirus infection increase around the world, people want to take back control over their situation. So is there something that can be done? Yes, there is. The symptoms of the coronavirus, which include fever, uh, coughing, sneezing, shortness of breath, are precise mechanisms that help this virus spread so quickly. The symptoms generate droplets, small tiny droplets of coronavirus that others can inhale, helping it pass on to other people so easily. Even simple breathing and talking, and of course sweating, release these droplets that spread the virus. Now the coronavirus found in these droplets, once inhaled by someone, then enters the back of the nasal passages to the mucous membranes in the throat. Where this, this is, inside the throat is where the virus attaches to the receptors on our cell membranes. Now with the help of the spiked proteins that are found uh, sticking out of the coronavirus surface, the coronavirus fuses through the membrane to enter our cells. And inside the cell, the coronavirus's genetic material takes over the metabolism of the cell and begins to multiply. Now when it uh, multiplies sufficiently, it can go into the neighboring cells. And this is how the virus spreads inside the body. After entering the throat, the virus travels to the bronchial tubes in the lungs. And in the lungs, the virus causes inflammation that damages parts of the lungs. And this damage makes breathing very difficult. Fluids start to build up in the lungs, leading to pneumonia, which is lung inflammation. In extreme cases, when the lungs are full of fluids, people need to put up uh, uh, need to be put up on a ventilator to help them breathe. Now the worst case scenario is when the lungs fill up so much with fluid that breathing becomes completely impossible and then the person dies. The virus can also affect the gut showing symptoms of indigestion or diarrhea or it can land on other organs around the body when it doesn't and a full-blown immune response is taking place, then the infected organ may even stop functioning completely. Now this is why people with background diseases are more likely to die from the coronavirus since some of their other organs are already in a weakened state. There is still a lot to learn about the coronavirus before we understand how to cure it even naturally. But nevertheless, several natural measures can be taken to prevent death from this disease. <clears throat> In the prevention stage, we all know what to do. There is plenty of news coverage on this subject. You want to avoid close contact with someone infected by the coronavirus. Still, since we do not know who is infected, it is best to wear masks to prevent infe infection from these small droplets of the virus. Also, using gloves to avoid infection from contaminated surfaces whenever leaving the house is vital. And also, leaving the house should only be for urgent needs only. You also want to wash your hands often and avoid any close contact with anyone who is not living with you. And when going to the supermarket or the pharmacy, ensure that these places are well ventilated, uh, preventing the concentration of the virus inside if there is someone with the virus there. Also, drinking hard, hot herbal teas helps prevent the virus from attaching onto cells in your throat. Now, once you have the coronavirus, <clears throat> you or someone you love is suffering from the coronavirus, you want to support the immune system by eating a healthy, mostly plant-based diet consisting of nutritionally dense foods, including fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes. Now, although the viral infection lowers appetite and food intake, nutrients must be taken to prevent nutritional deficiencies that lead to a downward spiral in health and prevent recovery from the disease. Eating, I recommend eating a different type of legume soup or bean soup every single day with a slice of whole grain bread 
it is very important since the immune system needs sufficient protein to fight off the infection and legumes are also very rich in zinc an antioxidant mineral known to strengthen the immune system and protect the spreading of the viral infection also a salad is essential or stir fried vegetables with many different types of vegetables to help the person suffering from corona consumes sufficient nutrients. If the patient can eat a salad or vegetables, this is wonderful. But if not, then food supplements are definitely recommended and I'll get into that in just a minute. But before that, it is crucial to mention foods to avoid when sick with a virus. And these include foods with added sugars, refined carbohydrates, and alcohol, as these all lower immune function. Processed foods must also be avoided as they will impair white blood cell function. Cigarette smoking is also something that you definitely want to avoid as this increases the risk for coronavirus infection. The best foods you want to consume now are foods rich in phytonutrients, such as foods rich in quercetin, which include leafy green vegetables, broccoli, red onions, red peppers, uh, apples, grapes and green tea. Also foods rich in the phytonutrient rutin, which include buckwheat, asparagus, apples with the peel, uh, figs and uh, tea, green tea or elderflower tea are very good as well. Also foods rich in lutein, uh, such as celery, green peppers and chamomile tea are very important. Also foods rich in the phytonutrient Mericitin, such as tomatoes, oranges, nuts, and berries, are very important, as well as foods rich in resveratrol, including peanuts, pistachios, red and black grapes, blueberries, cranberries, and uh, a dark chocolate. Also, foods rich in um, apigenin, which is uh, another uh, phytonutrient, include grapefruit, parsley, onions, oranges, and chamomile. And also you want to increase foods that are rich in zinc. As I mentioned before, zinc is found in very high concentrations in legumes. But I also recommend, it's also found in tahini, which is sesame seed paste, pumpkin seeds, nuts, and whole grains. Also vitamin C is very beneficial and it is found in red peppers, broccoli, and citrus fruits. Now all these foods that I have mentioned have strong immune strengthening properties. Now if the person suffering from the coronavirus cannot consume food, then definitely supplementation with phytonutrients and antioxidant mixes as well as taking a B complex mix will be helpful. I also recommend getting the patient out into the sunlight between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m., 1 or 2 p.m., as these are times when the UVB rays are at their highest. Enriching the body with vitamin D helps stabilize the immune response, which is very important, especially if the virus has reached other organs apart from the lungs, as I mentioned earlier. I also want to recommend that the patient is held in a place with low air pollution as this increases risk of death from the virus. Also keep, you want to keep the room where the patient is held in, uh, in the hospital or at home well ventilated with plenty of fresh air. Keep the window open to reduce the concentration of the virus inside the room. Uh, I also recommend a portable humidifier. It can be helpful because sufficient air humidity has been shown to help fight the coronavirus. So please be cautious and take the right uh, uh, precautions and measures to keep yourself healthy at this time and help from preventing the virus from spreading around the world. I wish you a lot of health and happiness. Thank you very much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel where I upload a new video about once a week. And also please visit my website at www.thegorilladiet.com for lots of health and nutritional information that you can use to help you live a healthier life. Thank you very much.